Okay, so today we have an um, iPhone XX Max that had a no touch issue. As you can see, the touch screen is not working. It's not responding to anything. Let's go to microscope. So this is the uh, touch connector right here. So we need to take some measurements uh, to see um, are the values supposed to be there or not. So let's go to sch schematic. What are we doing? It's over here. Okay, so um, this is touch connector here. Okay, let's measure the value. Okay, we get no value here. That's right, that's fine. That's ground. We got value here. here skip to ground. We got value here. Value. Point three is fine. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's right. That's fine. That one's fine too. So let's go in here. This one's okay. 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 So we get. Oh. Missing value here. So we're missing the value here. This is two, four, fifth. So the fifth one. Two, four. So we missed. Yeah, we get no value on the sixth one. It's not the fifth one, the sixth ones. So what's this one? Okay, this one is to the ratio two, it's to the chip two. Let's try to measure again, make sure. Two, four, six. Okay, we get no value on this one. So we get all the uh, connections, but just on this particular pin, we don't get a value. So maybe it, let's go to see where this goes to. Let's go to there and. So this one is go to the, okay. Ooh. And it goes all the way up here. So it goes to the C V directly to the CPU. Okay. So if this phone was dropped, um, That's hopefully, you know, there's a separation between the board, the top and the bottom board to cause this issue, not the CPU. If there's a, no connection here, then we have a problem. So let's measure, let's, we need to take up the board and uh, measure to see if we have a value here. If we have the value here, it's good, we continue with the repair. If not, then, you know, this phone is not feasible to, for repair, just for data recovery, you know the customer wanted to. Because if this is something wrong here, we have to take up this CPU here and then re it to have that connection here and here again. So let's go ahead and do that. We separate the board out and make sure. Okay, so um, took the board out of the housing and now put on a heater and try to separate it. Okay, let's try to measure this value uh, to see if we get a connection. So it should be, um, let's see the other side, this side here, and the fifth one down. 
fit one to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got value. We got 0.38, which is good. So it's similar to the schematic, 0.347. So now we need to check the bottom board. Um, so this one, go, um, it goes all the way here to the bottom board. And right here, this connection right here. And this one's where it goes to, to over here. And it goes to this one right here. So this one go to three, four, five, the six pin. Six pin. So let's check for continuity. Uh, so six pin. To that, um, let me see. One, two, let's go here. One, two, six. So this one here, huh? and Two, four, six. So we need to make sure this one is connecting to oh man. Okay. To this one over here. The fifth one. Two, four. Okay, we so we have a connection. We do have a connection. Which is good. So the issue is the um, the, the top board and the uh, bottom board. The connector, the connection is not. Um, they're not connecting at that point. One, two, three, four, five. This one. too much there you go yeah that's it now let's put the board, the board back together and it should work so we have verified that the uh, the board is good, nothing wrong with the board. No disconnection between the board. That's it. This one's over there. Okay, so the phone, um, I'm sorry, the board is on the um, heater for about 8 or 10 minutes, Ray. Right? So it should fuse up by now. So let's turn it off and let it cool down. Um, and we put it back into the housing and test it. Or value okay good 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 that's oh, okay it's good it's good it's good it's good it's good okay it's good Oh well, 
Oh, L. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, all values are good. Let's put into housing and then uh, test it. So the phone is powered on. Okay. All right. So it looks like the touch is uh, working normally now. Okay, that's it guys. Um, so uh, that's how we fix the touch issue on this particular uh, iPhone XX Max. So it looks like the phone was dropped. Um, there was some repair done into the, uh, the back glass. And uh, it separated out the, uh, the, the top board and the bottom board. So the connectors, the pins are not connecting. So basically we uh, touch up the pins and and then uh, fuse it back together and it works fine now. So, but before that, we measure some um, circuits around to see if they're connecting properly before we uh, fuse them together. So thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please hit the like button if you haven't done so. Um, so and sub subscribe to our channel uh, if you want to see more content like this in the future. Bye for now.